but I just started it. And um, it has to be my favorite peptide so far. Like awesome. lots of energy. I feel very clear um, headed. My workout performance seems pretty uh, surreal in, in terms of stamina. Um, so let's go with the longevity. Start with Mod C just for selfishly. I'm fascinated by it and what the hell it's doing in my body. I've read some of your stuff, but I'd sure. love to talk to you about well, it. Well, let's, uh, let me ask you first, like what is your dosing protocol with it? Um, 10 milligrams. Uh, it was it started, uh, three days a week and then once a week afterwards. Okay. So you're getting like a 10 milligram vial and injecting ten, the whole yeah, thing. Wow. Yeah, that's a big um, dose. Yeah, no, I mean, I, well, I mean, look, I mean, I mean, look, well, so it's interesting and it's perfect. No, no, no. It's a, it's a perfect way to talk about this because I think the biggest confusion principle for people that do peptides is how much bacterial static water do I put in the vial if the right. vial isn't coming with bacterial static water? And we can even talk about that, right? Because the difference between research chemical companies and compounding pharmacies is compounding pharmacy is licensed to sell you a drug that you can use right away. Right. Versus a research chemical uh, company there's isn't. There's a couple steps, right? I see. Exactly. Yeah. And the research chemical company is like indemnifying themselves that you're using it on your laboratory animal and that this is not for human use, right? <laughs> but we all know that, I mean, look, let's be honest. We all know that people are using them on themselves. Uh, they are their own laboratory animal. And the differentiation is that the research chemical company is not quote unquote, making their products in a sterile, you know, uh, compound pharmacy, uh, you know, stringent quality uh, control and stuff like that. that. Yeah. Right. But, but the truth is, is that, you know, I know the businesses very well, obviously. And a lot of the research chemical companies are using very similar, uh, quality control that the compound pharmacies are. Okay. And then you got to even go deeper, right? Like where are they getting their raw materials? Where are they getting their active ingredients? And the best ones are getting them from the same place. And, you know, I happen to know, you know, that whole business and, and, and industry also too. So it's like, you got to be, you know, just use, you, how do I say this the best way to say, you know, be a smart consumer. 